In this program, we're going to talk about upgrading from a mechanical steering system to a base star hydraulic steering system. Those of you who have been into boating and have run boats with mechanical steering with high horsepower outboards know that there's this thing called engine torque load, especially with two strokes and now some of the uh, powerful four strokes. That places a lot of work on you as the operator of the boat if you've got uh, the mechanical steering system. When you replace it or upgrade it with Baystar, all of that work and effort has been eliminated. Now, let's just talk about the Baystar system. There's basically two kits, the difference being one has 20 feet of tubing, the other has 30 feet. Inside of the box is almost everything that you're going to need. You've got the tubing, you've got the hydraulic helm, and you've got the um, steering cylinder. Along with that, you've got two quarts of steering fluid. Now, something else that, um, and of course the instructions, something else that you're going to need is some white lithium grease, water resistant white lithium grease, which will allow you to lubricate the tilt tube at the back of the engine to make sure everything is lubricated and, and everything is clean and corrosion free. Now, the other thing I want to bring up is a point that is critical and that is you have to have 21 inches inside of the splash well. The 21 inches is measured from the splash well boot directly across to the other side. At this point, let's go ahead and take off the mechanical steering from the boat. First thing we're going to do is pull the cap off of the steering wheel. And go ahead, behind the, steering, behind the cap is a nut. Take the nut off and set the cap and the steering wheel aside. Once you've done that, go ahead and go down into the center console and remove the hardware from the mechanical helm. Also, disconnect the mechanical steering cable, but don't pull the cable out. Attach a chase line, tape a chase line to the cable so that when we pull the cable out, we'll be able to have a chase line that will help us to pull the tubing through when we're ready to go from the helm to the steering cylinder. In the instructions, you've got a template. Cut the template out, place it over the existing hole where the mechanical helm was, and that will tell you where to drill holes for your new mounting hardware. Once you've done that, take your hydraulic helm and you'll see that you've got a port and starboard designated. This coincides with the tubing that comes with the kit. Make sure that the starboard green tubing gets connected to the proper connection or fitting on the back of the helm. When you're attaching the fittings to the back of the helm, use Teflon based liquid pipe thread. Don't use the uh, Teflon tape. If that gets into the system, you'll have uh, serious problems later on. Now we're ready to install the steering cylinder onto the engine. First, you have to start by removing all of the existing steering hardware. So let's go ahead and pull the cable out of the tilt tube. Let's disconnect the drag link and get everything set aside. Once you've done that, go ahead and take some white lithium grease, clean out the tilt tube, make sure everything is lubricated, no corrosion, and also apply the lithium grease to the support rods on the steering cylinder itself. There's three points of attachment for the steering cylinder. You've got the support rods going into the tilt tube on each side, and you've also got the tiller arm. The last thing I want to mention is with regards to the tubing. Make sure you give yourself enough tubing to allow for the cylinder travel back and forth inside of the splash well. Now you can see the completed installation of the Baystar steering system on this boat. Please keep in mind that Baystar was intended for single engine outboard applications up to 150 horsepower. The advantage of installing the Baystar hydraulic steering system is that at the end of the day you're going to be a lot less tired and you're going to enjoy your boat a lot more.